Hi guys. Well, I think we don't need words when we see this <laughs> this illustration of our uh, our neutrino week. This hexagram that is built um, of thunder over thunder, and this is uh, what we are going to get. We are going to get the shock initiation, and not only the gate in the sun, the gate of shock, but the whole channel for a few days. Um, so we are going to be penetrated and initiated and shock initiated, <laughs> and we can't do anything about it, just accept it with love and just be very, very locked in our strategy in order to really get the benefits of this um, penetrating shock initiation. So yes, the cross of penetration, the sun is in the gate of shock and um, we get a Venus. Venus is in, in retrograde and, and she is still staying in the 25th gate. So we get the channel of initiation for a few days and the arousing, the ability to respond to disorder and shock through recognition and adaptation. Yes, the arousing um, comes together with a universal love the gate of the spirit of the self and uh, create the potential for leaping into the void and jumping to the next level of consciousness. And of course, in the mundane uh, realm, <laughs> we have this very, very competitive energy of the 51 that in the whole channel, the whole channel is called the channel of initiation, needing to be design of needing to be first. And the real, um, the deeper meaning of the needing to be first is um, this is the channel that carries the real mutation of consciousness. And in order to get, in order to, to go through this mutation, we need to be, we need to take this um, risk and leap into the void. And the one, the individual that is very centered, it's from the centering circuit, very centered in their um, mutative centering process, this individual jumps into the void, goes through the shock initiation, and then stays there until the others come and, and they know how to uh, adapt to the shock because of the one that came before. That's why we need to be first, those who carry this channel of initiation. And we are actually um, invited. This is a projected channel. This channel is about being invited to initiate, being invited to take initiative in things that others can't do. That's why we need to be first. And it's unbelievable. I mean, everything in my life, I, I just, I was so ahead of everyone. I mean, in, in years and years, and sometimes, you know, many years, <laughs> I remember the, 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 the classic example, which doesn't, it, which is not about um, spiritual work, is that when I was young, I was a fashion designer and I did things that just nobody got them. I mean, they were shocked. They, they were shocked of the things I did. And, and only 20 or 30 years after, or let, let, let's say about 20 years after, people started doing things which were, you know, in that style. So that's, that this, the people that carry this channel is, have this, quality of being first now of course it can be in the mundane plane it can be in the spiritual plane this is the channel of the the high priestess or the high priest the shaman and uh, and and again if we are um if we are behaving according or following our design because otherwise it's a very uh, very influential channel anyway but it provokes a lot of competition because it has this competitiveness built in in it, in it but it's about spiritual competitiveness competitiveness but if we take it to the mundane plane it just um, empowers competitive uh, competitiveness in others and of course most of the people don't have this channel so they they um, um, 
amplify it. And of course, all the people that have only the 51st gate in an open ego, which this is, this is the majority of those who carry the 51st gate, they have this very strong um, a challenge not to leap into the void out of the need to prove. Yes, because that's the place where the courage um, turns into stupidity and, and dangerous stupidity. And I have to, I have to emphasize that the, the 51st gate can be stupid also in a defined ego. I mean, the not self is not self. So this is this channel and this gate are very, very, um, it's a thin line between stupid, dangerous risk-taking and leaping into the void, not in a correct way, and between this um, potential for a very strong mutative leap into the void. And, Ray, you know, it's, you look at it, it's, it's the combination between the matter, yes, the, the ego that represents the matter, and, of course, the, the higher self, the, the, um, the identity and the love and the direction, which is the, the magnetic monopole. So it's, you know, the, the willpower, this strong motor connected to the higher self. This is very, very strong. This is a very unique channel. I, I really like it. Uh, like it. And I also know how influential and strong it is. And people who carry it really need to be correct. Now, when that is in the transits, we are all going to be very affected and people with a, an open ego and an undefined G, just, just be locked in your strategy. It could be a great service for your journey. It will be a great service to your journey if you just be correct with yourself and also um, prepare to shock. We can't do anything. It's, that's what's going to happen this week. We are going to be shocked <laughs> this way or another. And of course, the 57th gate that um, Jupiter sits there. So we are used to this energy, but when the earth there, it's a different energy and it's going to be even stronger, this intuitive insight and all these integration gates that connect to this intuitive insight are going to be influenced even stronger than only from Jupiter. So the gentle, the extraordinary power of clarity is going to also be dominating our week. While the sun and the earth are going to penetrate, we also have uh, the moon is going to stimulate us by connecting to the gate of ideas that uh, Saturn sit there. And we are going to be curious. The channel of curiosity is going to... Um, be curious about wh where and why and who <laughs> is going to leap into the void. <laughs> so it's interesting because, you know, the channel of curiosity is about seeking. It's not about finding. And part of the seeking is leaping into the void. We never know what's there in the void. So, you know, it's interesting. So again, strategy and authority need to be uh, our guiding light here. Uh, in the fifth, um, 22nd GMT, we are going to uh, experience the six uh, variations of the role of the self while the moon is going to be in the seventh gate. Um, and because, because of this channel of initiation as a global conditioning pattern, the G center is lightened up. So we are going to have all the six uh, roles, <laughs> one after the other, and those of us who are sensitive will be able to feel it changes and shifts. In the 6, uh, 8 GMT, the moon will jump into youthful folly, <laughs> the gate of formulization, and will create with, with um, Neptune the channel of logic, so our mind will look for the correct formula and answer the doubts about leaping into the void and have all kinds of ideas <laughs> about it. So uh, 10 hours of uh, logic. In the 7th, uh, 7.30 GMT, um, 
Venus is going to release the gate of universal love. Venus is in retrograde and it is going to um, get jump into the gate of emotional crisis in the line of justice. And so, so no more initiation. <laughs> we'll have the shock without the initiation and we have, uh, and we'll have an emotional crisis out of this shock. And for the grand finale, to, to soften the shock that we got the whole week, we're going to have a little intimacy. Um, in the eighth, uh, we're going to, to have 10 hours of, uh, uh, <laughs> of uh, friction and, and uh, conflict combines with the gate of dispersion. We're going to have the channel of intimacy, uh, both 59, the 59th gate and the 27th gate that Mercury sits there are in the third line this day. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, the greed of this uh, intimacy, the greed for intimacy. Um, this is something that maybe we could release all the pressure that the shock initiation got into us during the whole week. And and for this kind of week, we really need to be prepared. So we have our armor. The strategy is an armor. And I'm telling you that when you have the channel of initiation in the transits, you need an armor because you are going to be shocked. We are all going to be shocked. Some of us are going to be shocked, in, initiated in a shocking way. Some of us are going to be shocked in, in things which will be more. Um, um, you know, material, earth, earthly uh, kind of shocks, but we are going to be shocked. So we need an armor. That, that's what's going to protect us. So this is our strategy, of course. And our inner authority is like this very sharp sh um, sword that cuts through the stories of the mind. Because, you know, you know, the... the, the the amazing example for this is when you talk to a sacral generator and you ask him a yes, no question about something that he has a story in, in their mind and, and suddenly the, the sword of the sacral just cuts through the mind and, and the yes, no just cuts the story. Yes, we, we got an answer. The, the inner authority is the so sword that cuts the story of the mind. And then, of course, we have the helmet that this is the sleeping alone uh, protection because when we are with others, in the aura of others, we, we are influenced all the time. And, of course, this conditioning creates more and more stories in our mind. And the way to protect us from more stories and more information, which is not for us, is putting our sleeping alone helmet. And the last thing is, of course, the bag that we carry with our own nutrition, which is the correct nutrition for us, the correct people, the correct food, the correct uh, inspiration, mental initiation. Everything is there. We don't need to count on what others we bring us. We carry our own nutrition, and that's the way to be protected and prepared to such a shocking an interesting week. So guys, I think now we are protected. I send you my love and let's see you after, <laughs> after this shocking week. We all gather our pieces and we'll see what's, what happens. Bye-bye. See you.